Hello, my name is Lucas Sanchez, and I am a current DMA student at the Frost School of Music at the University of Miami. I hope this video finds you all safe and sound. Today I wanted to talk about a, uh, an exercise that I like to play when I get bored of all my scales. So for this Masterclass Monday, let's take a look at an exercise called flutophone. Here's how it goes. I've written out a little bit of it here. The basic idea is that we start off with just a basic five note up, five note down scale. It sounds something like this. That's the idea, just five notes up, five notes down. We can start on any scale that we want. We can start on C, we can start on B flat, we can start on F. Um, but what's cool about this exercise is that it's continuous 16th notes and it moves through all the keys. So again, pattern is five up, five down, five up, five down, five up, five down, five up, and then five down. And then what we do is we do something special. We all of a sudden change the key signature. And I've written it one way right here where we flat the second, the third, and the fifth notes. So instead of uh, C, D, E, F, G, in this case, it'll be C, D flat, E flat, F, and G flat. What this does is this changes our key signature from C major to D flat major, except we're starting on like the seventh note, the C of that key. Take a listen to how that sounds. All of a sudden we change keys and it's really fun especially on xylophone where all of a sudden your pattern changes a little bit and you have to start using the accidentals but this works for any instrument in fact the name of this exercise flutophone which i've given it it doesn't actually have a name is because a flute player taught it to me and flute players often have to do really fast runs all over their instrument and so for xylophone i thought oh, this is a great exercise to learn why not try this to get our uh, dexterity up just like flutists. There's one note that's out of place here that you'll notice it's at the very end. So we still go five up, five down, five up, five down, five up, five down, five up. And then we go three down, or I guess four down technically, and we skip one. We skip that D flat so that we can come around. And now we're playing in the five notes of the D flat major scale. Uh, take a listen to it here. Flat those notes. And now all of a sudden, we're in D flat major. In fact, these two measures, all I did to write them out was just take these two measures, copy and paste them down, and then take them up a half step. So this exercise moves through the 12 keys, um, and you play two, uh, four measures in each of the keys, and it goes by really fast, and you can go uh, in through as many keys as you want until you return to the beginning. You can even do this with minor scales, super cool, uh, and it's just a great time. On this other page, I've written it a slightly different way for people who like to see it this way. This way, I've, I've written it with key signature, so you can see exactly when we think about switching the key, and it kind of happens like every other two bars. So here we start with our normal C major, no problems there, but then all of a sudden, we've got this time signature change sorry, key signature change, to D flat major, same notes. These two measures look the same, except for the key signature. And then we have our little turnaround on beat four right here with this C natural coming back up to D flat. Key signature stays is the same, but we are now in our new key. Cool. Here's how that sounds, just to make sure we get it. C major. D flat major, but start on the seventh key. Turn around, D flat major. We'll keep playing and see what it sounds like. Now we switch to D major and turn around, D major. Notice that this D flat right here that we've been playing over and over in D flat major, this D flat turns into a C sharp in the key of D. Uh, and so it keeps moving up chromatically. Another reason I really like this exercise is because it moves through the keys uh, quickly but in a small range so you don't need a big marimba a big vibraphone you just need your bell kit to do this in fact this scale exercise will fit on a bell kit and you can do it on a whole octave and you won't run out of notes anyway i hope you enjoyed that here's a video of me playing feel free to play along with me for a little bit and see what other scales you can do this with we could do it with major scales with minor scales with different parts of the scale it's a lot of fun
So anyway, enjoy practicing flutophone on whatever instrument you're on, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks so much. What's cool about this exercise is you can also do it in a minor key. So here I want to show you uh, a clip of me playing it in a minor key as well. <laughs> 